This is a HeadGum Podcast. Here's a question. What is care slash of? Care of is a monthly subscription vitamin service made from effective quality ingredients, personally tailored for your exact needs. So I got an email and they were like, take this quiz. So I took a quiz, super easy, super fun, super chill, lots of pictures, truly kept me engaged, bright colors, good for me. And it literally designed the vitamins that I should be taking. And truly I read through it and I was like, this is right. I should be taking these vitamins. And there's tons of benefits to vitamins. So even if you try to maintain a healthy diet, guess what? It can be hard to get all those nutrients your body needs for long-term health. Vitamins also fill the important gaps that your body is missing from your diet. And get this, 90%. It's a lot of people. That's almost all the people. They fall short of the FDA recommended guidelines for at least one vitamin or nutrient. Also, the recommendations are built on clinical research with traditional medicine, with input from doctors and nutritionists. It includes individually wrapped packets with your specific vitamins and supplements for easy grab and go. Because you can't be shaking stuff out of bottles being like, what's this and the other thing? Nope, these are just wrapped up for you. And guess what? It costs about 20% less uh, when compared to similar brands at drugstores and local health food stores. So for 25% off your first month of personalized Care of Vitamins, visit careof.com and enter the promo code DATEME for 25%. I'm saying it again because you might have missed it, but you get 25 to 5% of your first month of personalized vitamins via Care of. Visit Take care of dot com. The promo code is date me. What a treat. You'll be swallowing big old vitamins in no time. Bye bye. Don't you date me? You guys, it is a podcast about why I'm not dating people and why I'm single. And today I have a very fun, wonderful guest who I know from New York. His name is George Kerman. Hello, hello, hello. (laughs) I'm just going to let you keep going. That was great. Hello. Thank you for having me, Nicole. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I've known you for a long time. Uh, Dude, we used to fucking rap super hard at the front desk of the old training center. Oh, used boy. to be. Remember that? What a dream. Hell yeah. I remember I, I bought you, uh, I would buy you raspberry flavored uh, Schweppes from the deli. Mm-hmm. And yes! bring them back to you. Yeah, That was yeah. so nice. Yeah, that was your jam. That honestly was maybe my favorite job because it was just hanging out in a building with right. the funniest people in New York right. all day. No, it totally. was great. I yeah, no, that loved seemed it. like super cool. So mm. you do comedy and you're very funny. Oh, thank well, you. What's that dating life like? I mean, uh, I, I, you know, it's not fantastic. It's not great. <laughs> I don't know, but it seems like it's not great for like any. Like, I'll get your opinion on this because I feel like the people I know and a lot of our mutual friends mm-hmm. are either like wifeyed or hubbied up, yes, or they're like super single. Or they're fucking sociopaths. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. makes sense. Yes, I've I've encountered a lot of crazies. But see, I wonder, like, sometimes I'm like, well, maybe just like humans are crazy, which they obviously mm-hmm. are. But I'm also like, is it in our world? Like, are the people that I'm interacting with and dating are they particularly more crazy? Like, if we lived in some other part of the country, would it feel less insane? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, if you were in Idaho, you would be like, <laughs> everyone here is so fucking boring. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't have these crazy people. Because, like, actors and comedians also have a level of being so narcissistic. Oh, absolutely, yeah. That 
that that's like a that's like a base level crazy thing. Like oh, people already, in yeah. Idaho aren't like my life is so interesting that I'm going to write a 30 page fucking pilot yeah, about it I know. or I'm going to turn my life into a movie right. because What's your everyone, script about? It's about me. It's about me. It's about yeah. my life, my experiences <laughs> that are so different than everybody yeah. else's. And I'm a straight white man. <laughs> So it's very cool. Yeah, it's yeah. just, uh, yeah, I think it's so it's like a baseline of crazy in what yeah. we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah and just like in it. L.A. in general, because I feel like almost everybody in L.A. is in the industry. Yeah. Do so, you think it's more cray-cray out here than NYC? Oh, absolutely. fucking Because okay. you go to a bar out here, everyone's the prettiest person from their shitty little town. Word. Nobody wants to fucking talk to you. You go to New York and you got like a garbage man, a cop, a fireman, <laughs> a homeless lady, and you're like, yeah. we're all friends, right? <laughs> And then you're like at an after party drinking with these fucking people. Yeah, that's true. You yeah. can you can meet different kinds of people kind of more randomly in New York. Mm-hmm. I feel like the the non actor comedian people exist out here. It's just harder to meet them. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like you just won't interact with them. Whereas They're like so, in, I don't yeah. know where they are. Yeah, exactly. Like I know they exist. There's like what three million people here. Like they 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 have to be the majority even. But like I don't think so. You know. I feel like the majority are like grips and cameramen who are all that's, fucking yeah. married. Yeah, word. And then actors who are just like, I'm so sorry, I can't date you. You don't look like a fucking Ken doll or a Barbie or whatever. (laughs) Plus, they're like mad flaky out here. Everyone is so flaky. Yeah, it's tough. It's since being out here, I've become like a little flaky where I'm just like, "Mm, I feel you. I'll be there. Sorry, I'm not coming. I feel you. Yeah, I am a little bit more like that. I think I'm just, I'm more chill in general out here, which like mm-hmm. some of that is good, I think, because I had a little, I mean, I grew up in Manhattan, as you know, so I had a little PTSD from that, mm-hmm. which like I think, so I think part of it was like good for my overall personality, but the flakiness, man, I can't, there's just, I like LA, I like living mm-hmm. here, but like I can't get, I can't get used to that. Dude. It's annoying it's very when people bad. flake on you and oh, you're totally. like, are you fucking kidding me? Also like, I don't know, if I meet someone randomly, right, mm-hmm. and let's say I get her number or something. And, you know, maybe we have a little flirty flirt over the texty text. Mm-hmm. If we don't hang out within like three to five days, we're never going to hang out. Never. Ever. And so like if you flake on that first like, hey, let's get coffee. Cool. And then you flake. It's over. It's done. You There's know what I mean? There's no point in texting again. Of course. I think people text and think that that's intimacy or right. like right. that's a relationship. Right. Because I've texted people and had like good conversations over text or like over Tinder and then met them and been like, how? Right. How are you so good at texting, but like you can't fucking talk in person? See, I think that those apps really benefit people who suck in person <laughs> and are and, and, and can be decent like online. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think I'm the opposite. Like, I don't think I'm that great digitally, but okay. I think like in person, I think I can make a good impression. But I agree. It's hard. It's hard to like get that to come across especially when like okay let's say you and i met mm-hmm. like in a supermarket right hey what's up blah 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 five second interaction mm-hmm. that at least is like we have met we have yes. there is some basis for an inside joke there is mm-hmm. there's something that to go off of when it's like tinder or some shit like you literally have nothing there's nothing and like you can use the fucking profile but like i don't think that provides any you know what i'm saying yeah like profiles i'll let you read mine profiles okay. in general they just they don't like my profile doesn't say anything of value. It's not like who I am and what I love and what I aspire to right. be. It's just like dumb pictures and dumb little caption. Let me see. And that's a so, good picture. Thank you. Some people don't like that picture because I'm holding a big old dick in it. But then that's funny though. Mostly everybody has been like, it's pretty funny, and it's like you, right? Because I I do love dicks. I have a dick <laughs> earring in my ear. Uh, Down to figure skate. I like that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. or fuck. You have to say it out loud. Okay, it's a so podcast. Do you want me to read the whole thing? Yeah, you can do it. All right. I got a fat ass, so if you're not into it, clap, clap, see you later. I like people <laughs> with a sense of humor because life is too fucking long not to laugh. New paragraph, all caps, DTF, down to figure skate, or fuck, or farm, or fly, a kite, whichever is easier. I like that. It's funny. Thank you. And it's short. You know what it's good about this one, too? It's not too much. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's not a lot of text. You say what you're looking for. You're funny. You're not taking yourself too seriously. I like it. I'll tell you something. A lot of guys will see the profile and then you got to show them the fat ass. Yeah, you got to. A lot of guys will see the profile. They'll see that I'm holding a dick and then they'll see the down to fuck and then be like, oh, this is all she wants to talk about. And I think the reason why I keep that shit up is like if you can, if you could pull anything else from it, then like you're interesting. 
I, I feel you. It weeds out a lot of uninteresting people. So, like, if if a guy opens with, like, dick stuff, you're like, nah. I'm like, uh, I mean, I don't know. The older I get, the less I want to fuck a stranger. No, I'm the it's same. It's not appealing anymore. I'm, I'm like, totally I don't know this dirty dick. Like, no, I-, <laughs> I don't know where it's been. I don't know if you dipped it in some Clorox. Like, right. I don't want this. No, totally. So, I feel like... Because the guys I've gone out with on this haven't mentioned the dildo and they haven't mentioned the down to fuck. Okay. No, they'll just like start a conversation and be like, oh, your profile's funny. Or like, oh, uh, how was your day? Which is like the thing I hate the most. No, no, it's really bad. Are you on Tinder? No, I'm on uh, Hinge. I just joined Hinge. Hinge is based off of your Facebook friends or whatever? Yeah, it's like, I don't think you have like mutual friends or mutual friends of mutual friends. It's like mm-hmm. very, very loose Facebook connections, which it really it's the same shit. It doesn't fucking That's matter. That's what I feel like. Yeah, it's like they're it's not all... sourcing anything no, from no, no. my fucking friends. Yeah, it's all the same shit. I just joined Hinge and Hinge caps you off at who you can like per day. Yeah, Hinge is, I mean, look, it's all the same to me. Like they, they, they do that because they think it makes it like, this means you'll like less people and you'll be like blah, 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 blah. And it's like- I think it's, they're saying- because you can get unlimited likes for like 20 bucks right, a month. Let me get the cash. And I'm yeah. like, that's so much fucking money. Like I paid for uh, Tinder Express or whatever, oh, Tinder shit. Plus. Okay. So for $14.99, I've already canceled it. You can see who's already matched with you. Oh. And uh, you can like do this boost feature where like, I guess you just appear in more people's feeds. But I was like, so what are you doing with other, like, are you burying other people? Yeah. Like, Tinder, that's I, fucked up. I know. There's, like, all these algorithms and shit, like, lim- limiting the whole p- point that those, like, limiting the potential of the reason those apps exist in the first place. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's like, pretty messed up. Honestly, not to make everything about race, but it's kind of like how white people have built a system and then systematically oppress the other people right. who have to exist within this system. Right. So Tinder is the man. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all just the little minorities trying to scrape on by to find love. <laughs> I see it. I see it and I okay, hear it. Okay, great, great. Yeah, yeah. So you're on Hinge. I'm on uh, Hinge. And... Do you so hinge anybody can just talk to anybody, right? I just joined it, so I'm trying to learn. Yeah, about I mean, it. you got to match. You got to mm-hmm. match and stuff. To be honest, like I'm not heavy on the internet game. Like I, I strike uh-huh. the fuck out when it comes to the digital. It's shit. hard, but you photograph well, and you're a good looking man. I don't. So. You know, I appreciate you saying that. I don't know that I do photograph well, to be honest. Okay. Um, I can show you my hinge profile. Can I see it? Please? Yeah, hold on. Because Milheiser, our mutual friend Milheiser, I showed him the the profile, and he was like, "You don't have better pictures." And I straight up like, <laughs> I straight up like, um, I hired like a photographer and shit. And I, I like, Wait, I I went for it. You hired a photographer yeah. for an online dating profile, dude. I was like, "Yo, I'm I'm trying to do this." Ooh, she's kind of cute. I was like, "I'm trying to do this for real," and like, this was like a while ago. Mm-hmm. How do I don't I don't even know how to get to my fucking profile. Um, and like, so I like I like went for it, and. It didn't really do anything. I I also think I only used like one of the photos from the professional. Oh, thing. see, this is good. This is you with a dog. Yeah. This is you with a woman. It's my sister, but like. You know what? I don't think I would put I a know. picture of you and I a know. woman together. That's true. Because she looks a little older. So then it's like, wait, is this his mom, his sister? Or yeah. like, does he like older women? But this is a great picture of you. Yeah. I think. <laughs> well, I think I look handsome in that picture with my sister. That's you the problem. You do look handsome in that picture. This is a great picture. It's just George sitting on, you know, a stoop with a little dog behind him. <laughs> That's a good picture. This picture doesn't look like you, the one where you're jumping. Yeah. But I think it's a good picture. Oh, it does look like you if you zoom in. I think these are great pictures. Okay, good. I'm John's glad. being stupid. <laughs> I Yeah, these are great pictures. I okay, think it good. shows that you're silly. I think it shows that you're good looking. I think it shows that you're tall because... People only want to date tall men. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. So you're walking with this nice lady, your mom, I assume. What? What? what I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh yeah, that's my mom. So if you play the, um, so on Hinge you can put a little vidi vid, mm-hmm. and that and they is, claim people see that more. Yeah, than like just if a you picture? have a vid, like they show it to four times as many people. They say, which, which is, is again, so fucked up. I know it's the same it's like, shit. What if you don't have the technology? Right. Exactly. What if you? Have- what if you don't have a smartphone <laughs> in the year 2017? What if you have a smartphone but your like camera's broken and you totally. can't take a video and you're just uploading old pictures? Totally. This is me and my mom dancing at Dodger Stadium to Tupac. If you press the. I don't, how did you get the fucking? Why does the sound not come on? Anyway, it's California love and me and my mom being goofy together. It's really that's cute. So I think that's cute, but you know, 
That is cute. This I think your profile is good. Dope. Oh yeah, I forgot that there's like weird shit that you have to answer. Yeah. So okay, you said I'm actually legitimately bad at drawing. It looks like a four year old did it. Thumbs up. That's funny. All right. Um, it says you work at the Onion. Well, I, I mean, that's what my don't. Facebook says because I was a contributing writer there like fucking seven years ago or something. Oh okay. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, worst fad I participated in: <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. That's funny. I'm looking for an awesome person to connect with. That's nice. That's real. <laughs> I get it. I'll definitely get some likes on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, you know, which is good to me. That says the person's like not just trying to DTF or whatever. Mm-hmm, so that's mm-hmm. kind of cool. Do you come across a lot of women who are just like, "Ooh, baby, I'm just trying to fuck your no, dick." No. 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 Definitely not. I mean, if and no, and if they short answer no, but I also feel like if they are, it's never like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like a guy who's like straight, like it might be more straight up in your face. I'm trying to fuck. But mm-hmm. like, even if a woman is, I feel like when a woman really hits on a guy, what they're really doing is they're making it easy for the guy to hit on them. Does that make sense? No. What do you mean? So like, let's say you're at a bar or something like that. And you see someone from like, if a, and, and a lady sees like a dude from afar that she thinks is cute, she will like walk by that guy a bunch, like needlessly a bunch of times, hoping he'll start an, inter- an interaction. Oh, then yeah, like, yeah, if yeah. it progresses to like later in the night, she'll hang out at that bar longer mm-hmm. than, you know, her friends will, she'll chill. But that's, that's sort of like, usually that sort of more aggressive move of like, yo, let's straight up blah, blah, blah mm-hmm. is not as, it doesn't, that's not that it doesn't happen. But I feel like it's more like I'm hanging around this bar so you can say so you can say that to me. Does that make Fair. sense? Yes. And yeah. I've done that before. I've been like, uh, if he just sees me, uh, right, right. he'll want to ask me things right. about myself. <laughs> which is such an insane thing to do. We are all insane little monsters yep. just trying to rub our little fucking nubbins on each other and yep. to be happy. Um, so you try to date more in real life, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Do you run into chuckle fuckers? Uh, a oh. person who watches a comedy show and then afterwards is like, oh my God, you were like so funny. Can I please slobber on your dick? Um, here's the thing. Not really. I don't think so. But like, I don't perform live as much out here as I did in mm-hmm. New York. So that might, you know, I, I, that didn't seem to exist to me in New York that much. Really? I don't know, dude. Like, I, maybe I just wasn't aware of it. But like, because I've also never been like a big party guy. Okay. You know what I mean? So I've never, I'm never like closing down McManus, like wasted drunk. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which, where, where maybe a chuckle fucker situation might arise. Most definitely. McManus, if you're listening and don't under, you don't know what it is. It's a bar in New York that like a bunch of Upright Citizens Brigade performers go to after shows. Yeah. And you know, yeah, I definitely think if you went, you would run into girls who were like, oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't, I mean, but who are like, uh, I don't know. Are these, are these women like, are they cool? Like, are you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Are they hot? Are they cool? Are they interesting? Um, like, I feel like I would say probably hot, probably not cool. You think there's not. a lot of hot people going to UCB shows? I think there's a lot of young, pretty girls who go to UCB shows. Yeah, maybe now, maybe now. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think they're. I don't think they're like uggos. I do think they probably have issues. Yeah, if they're like looking for a performer to uh, do it for them, right. Right. I don't think I've run into, I don't, maybe I, I certainly think like performing and stuff, uh, like helps and, Mm -hmm. you know, and, or like seeing like some of my vids or something like that, that I've Mm -hmm. like made that I'm like, you know, that might help, but I've never like, it's never like, oh, you're the guy from this. It's more like we meet, Mm -hmm. we hang and then, and then after like a coffee that it's like, yo, I watched your vid. It's mad good or something like that. Ah. And I wouldn't consider that like chuckle fucking. So no one's ever reached out and been like, I love long haired businessmen, which you can see on Funny or Die, I believe. Yes. And been like, we got to smash. We got to go out. People have have made comments on Facebook about like, I'd smash that guy, but Mm -hmm. they've never reached out and been like, let's smash. So. Oh, God, these fucking not brave women. You know, just put yourself out there a little bit. So when you go, okay, so a woman, say a woman is messaging you on one of these apps or something or is hitting on you in person, what is something you want to hear a woman say to you? Like when they're spitting game? So, yeah. Uh, um, I guess... Or rather, what don't you want to hear? What is something that's like, ugh? Like a uh, red, f- like okay. So there's certain red flags I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. Uh, one would be like nagging, ah, like okay. uh, like just saying like insulting shit, or mm-hmm. like but like joking, 
You know what I'm saying? Which mm-hmm. is like fine. Obviously, I'm a fucking jokester, but like, <laughs> there's a difference between sort of being like, "Hey, we're being silly," and sort of like if you started to tell me about like your show, and mm-hmm. then I was like, "Oh, you mean blah 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 blah," and it's like an insult. It's like because we don't know. Like if you, if I just met you and mm-hmm. you're like cutting me down, it's not so much that I'm insulted. It's more like, "Oh, you're insecure. Like something's up here," ah. and like you feel like you gotta. And I think guys do that to girls probably more than women to mm-hmm. men. But um, that's something that's a red flag for me. Also, just like the emotion, like emotional instability. And there are certain like, so like if I, you know, like if you meet, if you, like I rolled up one time to get like coffee with this, with this woman and like I got there and then she was like, we can't go here. We have to go somewhere else. I'm like, (laughs) okay. And then we like walked down to this other place and then she was like, and we, we ordered and then we left that place. And she was just so like, and she was like, I'm sorry, I was just having a crazy day. She was so worked up. And like, look, we all have bad, but to me, I'm just like, you're all over the place. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So so that stuff, I'm just looking for like good conversation, to be honest. Sure. You know what I mean? Wait, so this woman, so you meet her for coffee, yeah. and then she walks into the place. Did she pick the place? I picked the original place. Okay, so you picked the OG, and then you get there, and she's like, no, I can't she, be here. Yeah, she was like, I'm having a hard time, and the vibe in here is wrong. And she was like, let's just go blah, blah. And I was oh, like, oh, yeah, cool, cool. And what like, an LA know. thing to say. I don't like the vibe in here. Yeah. Oh, my God, is the coffee not vibing with you? <laughs> so then you go to another place, and she's like, the vibe here is not good, too. After we ordered, which is insane. So you paid and then left shit there? Yeah. Yeah. That's and then did you go to a third location with this? Yeah, we person? went to a third location, but it wasn't a coffee place. We would just I think it, we just kinda like walked around the neighborhood. Okay. But like it was just like the look, no okay. No big deal, right? You were <laughs> like, Hey, I don't want to be uh-huh. here, I'll go somewhere else. That's not like I'm not gonna fucking call you a crazy cray. Mm-hmm. But I'm just saying if I just met you and you're like all over the place, mm-hmm. I'm just like, What next, dude? Like what what's gonna happen if we fuck? Like, oh. you're going to go crazy, maybe. You'll be inside her, and she'll be like, I don't like this vibe. I have to go somewhere else. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's and then she'll make me watch her. so funny. Yeah. I I can't imagine doing that. Like, I don't I, I'm also just, like, not a vibey person. Yeah, I don't know. I just, it's it's also, to me, though, more like, I'll, I'll give people leeway if they're, like, not feeling the, you know, the, mm-hmm. the atmosphere. But, like, like, recently, I was on, like, a third date. Mm-hmm. Third hangout, second like date. I don't know okay. if you would. Would you consider coffee a date? Um, yes and no. Okay, it depends on like if you okay. end the coffee with like we gotta do this again, as opposed to like coffee ends and then a text message later that's like, do you want to go out again? Yeah, I feel like if you're like, ooh baby, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, a yeah. date. But if okay. not, it's like that's a hangout. It's uh, whatever. It's I a feel fine you. line. So then this would be a third date. Okay. okay. So we go out on this third date. We've like made out, but we haven't like mm-hmm. really gone after it physically. And she's like, yo, let's let's she's like, we're going back to your place. Okay. And so and I was like, okay. And again, I got no expectations. I'm not trying to, you know what I mean? But like she was very aggressive about going back to my place. Mm-hmm. So we go back to my place. Within like five minutes, she's like, So what do you think about sex? <laughs> and I was like, You mean like in general or like what <laughs> like what? And she's like, No, like, do you think like what what do you think about you and I like having sex? And I was like, Oh, I mean, you know, that that's cool, but like we I, like are you feeling like no? Uh-huh. And she's like, I'm attracted to you, but I'm not gutturally attracted <gasps> to you. Oh boy. And I was like, Okay. Like like what am I supposed to say? Like I was that's like, That's a sure, wild yeah. thing to say to someone. After you demand to go right, to their house. Right, exactly. And then it just kept spiraling where like, but like we kind of like, I was like, hey, we don't have to have sex. Like we'll just, whatever. And so we're like chilling out. I'm not being super, I'm not being like handsy with her because uh-huh. like she's saying like she's not gutturally <laughs> attracted to me or whatever. And then like she sees me in my undies mm-hmm. and she's like, oh, those are nice. Those are sexy underwear. I'm like, thanks. She's like, um, the gay boys must love you. And I was like, oh, yeah. Ha, ha. And then she goes, are you sure you don't suck cock? <gasps> it's like. <laughs> But that's what I mean about like she's joking, right? In yeah. quotes. But it's like, so you invite yourself to my pad. You uh-huh. tell me you're not attracted to me. <laughs> then you see me in my underwear and you ask me if I'm gay. Like, what is happening here? I you know what I mean? Love her. <laughs> she is bonkers bananas. That is so yeah. funny. Yeah. I that pales into comparison to anything I think I've ever done. That is crazy. Did you go out with her again? No, I um. I asked her out one more time because she she did text me later that night. And she was like, hey, I'm sorry. I was kind of in my head tonight. And I was like, mm-hmm. hey, no big deal. So I asked her out like one more time and mm-hmm. she was like, I'm busy. And then I just didn't really. But yeah. but interestingly enough, uh-huh. after I stopped like, you know, pursuit, like sh- now recently, it's been like maybe a month or so. She's been like reaching out again. Interesting. 
Did you meet her on Tinder or no, I a met Hinge her, or whatever? I met her in real life. Oh, okay. Um, how do you meet people in real life? I'm having trouble with that. Yeah, it's hard. It's it's hard for us too, I think, because we don't have like, you know, like you'll work on a project for a month and then you're mm -hmm. done. You know what I mean? Or sometimes a day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I try to be very aggressive about like if I see someone, especially in the daytime, because people are a little bit more chill. Mm hmm like in a coffee shop or in the grocery or something. I'm not trying oh. to hit, like straight up hit on people, but okay. if I see a woman that I think is interesting, I'm just like start start a conversation. Just say okay. hi. Like just start an interaction and with no expectation of mm -hmm. like date or numbers because I think the more often I do that, the more swaggy I feel. Oh. And so like the more confident I am in okay. general, which I think is just a So, you know. I would love to see an example of this or hear an example of this. So, mm -hmm. I'm in a grocery store. Yeah. I'm looking at jazz apples. Okay. I'm putting them in my cart. Right. How many you got in your cart right now? Uh, 6. Okay. So, I might say something like and you're going to hate this, but I might say something like, "Damn, that's a lot of jazz apples." <laughs> I might count the apples and be like, six jazz apples for one lady? Holy smokes. Now, a lot of people might be like, all right, cool, lame -o. Or, But- I, It would have made me laugh. Yeah, That's great. exactly. Just something silly and nothing. Or like, what are, what are you wearing when you're picking these jazz apples? Uh, usually I go grocery shopping and like, uh, like leggings. I'm usually coming from like the gym. Okay. So like gym workout clothes. Yeah, like leggings, a t-shirt, sneakers, and like no hair on, no makeup. You would never approach me. <laughs> You'd be like, this woman's not fully formed. <laughs> She's not done. She's missing things. Okay. Well, maybe, well, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that because then that would maybe an insult. I was going to say, like, I, I do like to comment on people's style. Okay. So something just as simple as like, hey, cool necklace. But I have to actually think that. Okay. That's the key. I can't be like, oh, she's wearing a necklace, so I'll talk about necklace. <laughs> like, you got to be like, oh, that is a legit cool necklace. Uh -huh. Because I just think it has to be authentic. But it doesn't have to be a big deal. It doesn't have to be like, I noticed mm -hmm. you from, I think that's bullshit. That sucks. This is honestly really great advice, and I'm going to start doing this to people. Just start the interaction with, again, and don't worry about like, how do I, how do I transition this into mm -hmm. getting this guy's number or getting him to ask me? It's just like uh -huh. I'm just starting a conversation with okay. no expectations because I, expect, I think especially women who are used to getting hit on all the time, mm -hmm. like they sniff that shit out from a mile away. Mm. So it's just like if, this, if they feel like you want anything from them, they're not into it. Okay. So I think you just have to be like, very simple starting point. And then look, you're a, we're improvisers. Like you're mm -hmm. an amazing listener. And so then from there, I'm just listening to what she says and just reacting and that's it. You I'm now I mean? rethinking all of my male interactions at the grocery <laughs> store where a man has said something nice and I'm like, what does he want from me? Exactly. But see, that's, I, but I do think that's a, a normal reaction when a stranger talks to you. Mm -hmm. Like, what does he want? That's why you have to be very careful not to come across like you do want anything. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Smart. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not easy. This is great. Okay, so yeah. you you said supermarkets, mm -hmm. coffee shops. Coffee shops. Okay. I'm not a big, like, I don't really, I don't drink, so, like, I'm not, like, going to bars You don't and drink shit. at all? Yeah. How long has that been? Like, a year or so. You an alcoholic? No, I just don't like it. That's such a rude question. Just <laughs> no, straight up cool. ask somebody. It's cool. I mean, I, 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 I probably had, like, three drinks in 2017. My sister doesn't drink yeah. either. She's yeah. not an alcoholic. She just don't like it. I just don't like it. I feel like I'm old enough now where I'm like, yep, I just don't like it, and I, I don't care. I get it. Care. I've done it. Yeah. The older I get, the less I like smoke weed and yeah. the less I drink because yeah. I'm just like, oh, I I went hard for yeah. a long time. You know what the – you're not experiencing I, anything new. I don't need it. And our bodies don't take it the same. Like fucking no, hangovers Jesus are harder. Jesus Christ. My hangovers – last days yeah definitely it's fucked up i used to go to work still drunk and then get my hangover like midway through the day and be like well i guess i gotta start drinking again <laughs> and it's like that's not yeah. a way to live that's also a very new york thing i feel like. oh People yeah drink hard in new york uh, i missed it when i first moved out here i was like the bars the bars close they the close, bars close at they close at, at 1 30 last call is 1 30 a.m wait uh, i there's no after party spot uh, <laughs> there's not a bar that's gonna shut its doors and be like keep drinking right 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 Oh, uh, so okay, so I'm in a coffee shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm drinking my coffee Word. and I'm reading a book. Okay. The book is entitled The Hunger of My Life. <laughs> okay, dope. I mean, so already if I can read the title from my vantage point, mm -hmm. I'm I'm making a comment about the title. Oh, okay. So like again. Okay, wait. Is it like so like it was like a self-helpy book? Uh, I just made up the title. The Hunger of My Life. Yeah. 
It's a okay. It's a memoir of a a woman who's just looking for the best spaghetti. So boom, we just that is our that is our interaction right there. I would say like the hunger of my life. Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt. But the hunger of my life. That's such an interesting title. What is that book about? Uh, it's about this woman who's looking for the best spaghetti. Are you being serious? Yeah, that's the the whole book. Every page is about spaghetti. Wow. Do you think she's gonna find it, or is it like? Love Lost. I mean, honestly, I'm like 13 pages in and it seems like Love Lost. Oh, dude, fuck that. If I'm going to read a book about spaghetti, I want that woman to like find the top notch spaghettes. You're right. I'm throwing this book away. <laughs> What's your name? George. <laughs> I'm Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. aggressive. That's yeah. a great conversation. I That's... mean, it, yeah, again, I... like I think especially with dudes, because I think, you know, Dudes will out. I, a lot of my friends are like I don't know what to say. Like a fucking blah blah. Not that my friends sound like you know some. They do. Yeah, I know them all. You Mario. do know them all. Yeah, Mario. <laughs> fucking uh, yo, what, what Johnny Two Shades. Yeah. But like, it's there's no there's no right thing to say. Mm -hmm. And I think the slicker you try to be, the shittier it is. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just think it's like, oh, you're reading this book. What's the book? But you just have to have the confidence to be like, because you're straight up interrupt interrupting someone reading a motherfucking uh -huh. book. That's not nice. But you go in there with a smile, like, "Hey, I'm sorry, that title is so interesting to me. Like, mm -hmm. what, what's that book about?" And again, you're just trying to get you're just trying to get one reaction. That's mm -hmm. it. If someone's really not into it, they'll be like, "Uh," -huh. and then uh, you're like, "Okay, this isn't a book, right?" Uh -huh. Exactly. <laughs> you're like, "Oh no, you're oh, not you're okay." Insane. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, but again, I, I say this like I, you know, like I'm fucking some master at it. It's not easy. No, but, but like this literally has never occurred to me to just talk to people. Just talk to people in public. But see, okay, here's a good here's a good way to practice this for people listening who are like, nah, I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Like, talk to people of the same sex. Talk to people that you're not attracted to. Like, just start talking ah. to people. So, like, talking to people is not a big deal. So, like, mm -hmm. engage in conversation with your barista. Engage in conversation when you're at the grocery with, like, you know, the old man who's checking you out. Mm -hmm. with, obviously, you're not trying to, like, hit on this old dude. But, like, you're just, get, you're you're just getting, getting used, used to, to just having exactly. a dumb conversation with someone you don't know. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. You should teach a dating class, maybe? <laughs> okay, we got to take a break right now. But we going to come back for more fun. You're not in a relationship now, right? No, no. Okay. Do you want to be? I'm open to it, but I, okay. it's not my I, it's not my number one focus. What's your number one focus? Just like my work and Ooh, like yeah, making shit being happen. funny on film Hell, so it yeah, lasts forever. As opposed to improv, you're like, did you I like know, it? Right? It'll I never know. happen again. You and saw it's the done. you saw me at my best, and no one will know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I I mean, like, I'm open to it, you know, but I. <sighs> It's not something I fantasize about very mm -hmm. much, to be honest. Also, I've been single for so long that, like, I'm I'm good at being single, not in the sense that, like, oh, yeah, I'm out partying and, like, fucking mm -hmm. hitting on... It's more just, like, I'm comfortable with it. It yes. doesn't make... I'm alone, but I'm not lonely. Mm -hmm. So, like, I, I, it doesn't scare me to be alone. Fair. You know? I am also at a point... I don't know. I go back and forth being mm -hmm. like, sometimes late at night, I'll be like, oh, boy, mm -hmm. this is tough. Mm -hmm. And then my roommate's dating someone. So I was like, oh, this sucks. I get to watch them be like lovey-dovey. Yeah, but tough. then other times I'm like, oh, I'm gone 90% of the time. So exactly. like, and I'm working the 10% that I'm here. Right. So I don't even know how I'd have a real relationship with somebody. Exactly. And then when I'm like hardcore trying to date, I spent the summer trying to date because I was like, I'm here for the summer and I know I'm here and then I don't have to start working until the end of September. Right. So, like, let's get a relationship going. Yeah, and then, real quick. And then I'll, like, persevere throughout me working. Right, and right, then right. Christmas will be here and we'll spend time together. Right. Which is the most insane way to think about having a relationship. Yeah. Uh, yeah, probably. But, I mean, when you say uh, – I think it's just, like – see, when you say you want a relationship, I, what I'm hearing when, when, you, when you delve out the details uh -huh. is where I'm – which is a similar point of view that I have, which is you want to feel engaged in the game. You want a dude yes. that's on the radar that you're texting, maybe yes. that you're making out with a little bit. Yes. Maybe one or two or three even. Like, not that you need numbers, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying, like, you want to feel like on a Friday night, if you're feeling lonely, there's someone there's you can flirt with. There's someone there. Yes. That, as long as that's happening, being single is not, is, like, doesn't suck. No. You know what I mean? And it I doesn't don't have that yeah. right now. And I'm like, oh, boy. Right, right. It's not all even. All these dudes fucking suck. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't doubt it. Okay. We've come to a point in time 
where I'm going to reveal something we've made out before. Uh oh. Uh oh. It was in New York. I don't know if you know this, but I devised a whole plan to have this happen. Explain it to me. Um, I don't remember when I was like, "Ooh, that George Cameron is cute," and I want it. <laughs> But I like I don't remember when it happened. So Chris Gethard, a uh, really funny dude, had Great a guy. uh like a like a charity thing for the March of Dimes. Right. And everyone was doing like weird shit, like Corey Brown drank his own piss. Finelli got like electrocuted. Right. So then I was like, what if we do a, a doppelgang bang, which is me, Sashir, right. and Keisha right. giving lap dances to people. Right. So I was like, I want to give George a lap dance. So I think Keisha, because it was on my birthday, yeah. paid for your lap dance, yeah. <laughs> which is like so dumb. We could have just been like, no, we'll just bring George yeah, up. Yeah, I would have been totally But then cool it was like a good, right. a good cause or sure, whatever. Sure, sure, So then during the lap dance, I think I made out with you, right? Yeah, you, yes. yeah. Or like, oh, uh, kissy Yeah, yeah, we kiss. made, yeah, we did a little kissy mm-hmm. kiss. But yeah, you got to entertain that audience, you know what I'm saying? Got to show him yeah, that you're on, just huh? a little freak who's horny. <laughs> uh, and then... Nothing happened after that. Right. But I think I asked you out, and you were like, no, thank you. So why didn't you date me? Did you ask me out? I did. I emailed you. Okay, email ask Which out. is a running theme for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, after I've made out with people or fucked them, I fucked Joanna and then emailed her thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, yeah, yeah, answer it. Why? Well, here's Why? the thing. Why? Why? We, we made out, but we made out in the context of like, that's not really making out. Sure. If we're being honest. You know what I'm sure, saying? Sure, yeah. It was during a show. Right. There was an audience. You also admitted to like fully manipulating the situation. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's a little bit, It's uh-huh. not. I think it's a little uh-huh. bit, you know, to be like, crazy. what the fuck? No, I don't think it's crazy to do that, but then to be like, what's his, what's his problem? We made out on stage, <laughs> and now he doesn't want to go out. Um, I mean, I didn't go out with anyone back then. That okay. was, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just fucking obsessed with improv, and like, it was nothing, I love you, you know that, but it's not like I was like, I just like, I don't know, man, like, go, and, and I was very, especially back then, because I think that was before I was like, technically a performer, like a house okay. performer. I was real concerned with like, I didn't want to fuck anyone at UC. Like, I did not want to, like, fuck with... Because I think a lot of people there already perceived me at a certain way, mm-hmm. which, you know, fair or unfair, but, like, I did not want to be the guy that, like, fucked some, you know, other performer and, like, didn't mm-hmm. call her or whatever. So I was like, sure. I'm just not going to fuck my reputation up with any of this shit. Smart. So So that, you know, it's it wasn't ju- just you that I was, like, not pursuing. Not that tons mm-hmm. of people wanted me to, but you know what I'm saying? So that, I mean, that's a big part of it. But it was nothing like, it's not like, oh, you suck or something. All right. Yeah. Cool. You said you had a question for me. My question was just yeah. My question because it, it was which you already answered is I was concerned because we were emailing about doing this podcast mm-hmm. and you were like yeah I was gonna mention how we like made out and stuff and I was like is she is there another time we made out <laughs> because like that nope. right okay cool because I was concerned that like we had made out and I did not remember. Like, That's like, you know what I'm saying? Very funny that you didn't just ask before you came. I was un- just like, is she going to reveal something and <laughs> well, uh, I'm not going to know about it? To be honest, though, I thought that that would be good podcast fodder. Because <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, you were in a blackout. You were passed out in the corner. I climbed on top of you I and had my way with you your mouth. And it was great. I have a good dating story to tell you if we have time later. Just to we have up. tons of time. Tell Hell me now. Yeah. Um. Okay. So when this was back when I was in New York, probably around the time we did that, maybe like a year or mm-hmm. two later, uh, I started, I met this woman on a shoot. And this is the kind of situation where we would meet people, right? Like mm-hmm. a one day, two day thing. She was really, really uh, like hot, quote unquote. Okay. And so like I I did not, I, ha- I got, I was able to get her number on set, but like I didn't text her. And so, like I didn't want to mm-hmm. like, sometimes with those types i just it's like if you come on strong it's like a turnoff whatever long story long she we ended up hanging out like months later right we had hung out a couple times it was cool whatever she seemed a little cray but in like a fun way Mm -hmm. third third time we hang out i had done sketch cram that day which for those of you don't know it's just like an all-day show at ucb so the point being i was like exhausted right like 6 a.m to midnight just like being creative so it's just like a (laughs) lot of uh expelling a lot of mental energy She's texting me like, yo, come over. We haven't like had sex yet. Mm-hmm. This is going to be like the night. So I, I hop a cab out to Hoboken, right? This is where yeah. she lived. 
And I get out there and she's like rolling a joint of hash. She's like, yeah, I'm rolling a joint of hash. She's like, we should smoke it. I was like, hey, why don't we smoke it in that jacuzzi? Because she has Mm -hmm. a jacuzzi, right? So I'm thinking I'm being slick. She's like, oh, great idea. And then she's like, yeah, I have a way of making the water like really hot. And so she starts cutting up like vegetables, like carrots and like she was half Filipino, and I think uh-huh. she there was like some spices and stuff, just like food. Okay. And we go up into to the upstairs room, and like th- she puts that shit in the water, right? And I'm like, okay, in the jacuzzi, in the jacuzzi, water. In the jacuzzi water. She's in fully naked. We haven't seen each other naked to this point. Okay. I strip down. I'm naked. I put one foot in this water, Nicole Byer. I swear to fucking God, this was a thousand <laughs> degrees. My fucking leg. I thought it was gonna incinerate. <laughs> And I was like so – and I'm standing there one foot in, one foot out, dick swinging around. She's like totally submerged in water, no problem on her end. And I'm like, fuck, I got to do this. So I get a, I get in, so hot, so uncomfortable. Uh-huh. We spark this joint, as I established earlier. I'm not a big party guy, but I'm uh-huh. like, okay, so we're like smoking this hash, whatever. Long story long, I get the spins mm-hmm. real quick, like within 10 minutes, right? And I can feel it, and I'm like, fuck, like mm-hmm. am I going to be able to like, you know – fucking get through this she kind of gives me the and I, at this point my memory is kind of fucked but she kind of gives me the eyes like let's go fuck now kind of mm-hmm. vibe and i we stand up and all the blood rushed to my head and i fucking fainted oh, no. i faint just like <laughs> boom in the jacuzzi and ah. because i'm like a goofy comedian or whatever she thought i was like joking around uh-huh. and the next thing i remember is my eyes opening from under the water and seeing her you know how like when you look up underwater and you look at people and they're like wavy mm-hmm. I was like seeing her wavy body and I was like, what the fuck's happening? And then she like picked me up and she was like, did you just like faint? And I was like, nah, I'm cool. It's good. It's good. It's good. (laughs) And I was like trying to play it off. And I went to the other bathroom to like be alone for a second. Mm -hmm. And I looked at myself in the mirror and I literally said out loud to myself in the mirror, I said, can you have sex right now? (laughs) And the answer, Nicole Byer, was no. No. I could not. That's. Very funny. Yeah. Also, so funny that she thought you were doing a bit and waited to I know. help you. Like, maybe I could have drowned. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was and insane. And she's like, he's really committed. He's just, yeah, he's a great oh actor. Oh, my God. I Holy love it. So, like, I can't wait to fuck this wonderful <laughs> actor. Yeah. Like, yeah. he's really he's drowning He's performing right now. for me right before this we fuck. This is like performance this art. I love it. That's so funny. So you yeah. didn't fuck her. Not that night. Oh, but you didn't. You Eventually, didn't we did. We actually dated for like a month or two. But you know what was funny about that was she was actually she thought I was like a drug addict because of that and some other experiences that <laughs> she had like never seen anyone like faint before. So she was like, "What's going?" You know, she thought. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And I think she was into the idea of dating a messy guy. Oh, okay. And I think it was like, "Sorry, dude. Like, I'm actually kind of just a dork." Like, I wait. You know. What were the other things that would lead right, her so to the, believe that you were a drug? The addict? The other thing was at this time in my life, Nicole. I was going through this thing where I was getting food caught in my like chest. What? Yeah, it was weird. And like I couldn't fully swallow things. Okay. And so sometimes like I'd have to like sometimes like get up and like use gravity, take a sip of water, whatever. But sometimes if it was bad, I would like vomit it up. So the literally one week after this fainting in the jacuzzi, uh-huh. I take her out to like a nice restaurant and I'm feeling like just for my own manhood, I'm like mm-hmm. I need to like that was so lame what I did. Uh-huh. Like, I want to just feel like I can, uh-huh. you know. So I took a real, blah, 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 last bite of the meal, steak. It gets caught, right? So I Oof. go to the bathroom, and normally if I puke, I'm good. Uh-huh. This time, it's just like every 10 minutes, it just couldn't go away. So I was like going to the bathroom throughout the night, every 10 minutes puking. Oh, no. And so she thinks I'm like, you Doing know, coke Yeah, or just something. something. And I, every time I came out, I was like, she's going to be gone. Like, she's going to be gone. Uh-huh. I would be gone. She was there. She was totally there. I should have known she was crazy because we later went back to my place, closed, sealed the deal that night, and she carved her name into my desk with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. I was like, this is insane. Ah, uh, what a treat, yeah. George. This has been great. <laughs> okay, George Caraman, do yeah. you have anything to plug? Yeah, sh- uh, check out Long Hair Businessman on Funny or Die, and uh, there's a short that actually Joanna Bradley and I are dropping via Funny or Die this week called Apple Rumors. Um, other than that, my Instagram is Toilets of Los Angeles, where I post pictures of toilets <laughs> only. It's not very uh, popular, but check it out. It's not very popular? Nah. Really? I don't think so. Okay. Oh. My social media game is weak, dude. I mean, I just don't have any. That's my only So thing. wait, why did you decide to do Toilets of Los Angeles as opposed to like- Well, I okay- 
I mean, here's the real reason is I fucked up and didn't realize you could have two Instagram accounts. Mm -hmm. So I, I used to just have your your boy George, which was just my life, mm -hmm. and then I erased all of that oh, shit. and was like, I'm only doing toilets. And then like, <laughs> because like I saw there were so many toilets that had been thrown out on the street. So why don't you just get a new Instagram and rebuild your personal one? Yeah, it just feels like a lot of work. Like it's what do you what do you Instagram? Like I don't what what the fuck do you Instagram? I Instagram pictures of myself when I'm feeling pretty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so sad. Uh, and then I Instagram like, I'm doing this show, or yeah, like, yeah. I'm promoting this. Word. Like, when you work more, they'll they'll make you no. do it. Well, that sounded fuck, shitty. It did sound shitty, but that's okay. We're pals. But <laughs> but I I don't think I will do it. But I think like, I'll refuse. The show that you just did episodes on, they're gonna ask you to promote on it. Nah, I don't yes, know they that. will. They will ask you to promote. They will ask you to. And that's going to keep happening. You're going to keep booking shit, and but they're like, going to be like, you have to promote this. But if I start an Instagram account right now with zero people... It doesn't then matter. Look... By the time it comes out, you'll have like a couple thousand. Yeah, and I'm telling you, you're a good-looking man. Appreciate it. Women are thirsty. They're, they're pussies. They're, they're looking. You ever, be, you ever be DMing dudes on... Uh... I don't. All I right. don't DM dudes because I've been DMed by strangers, and it feels crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But usually people will DM me nasty things. like Nasty things. Tell I want to eat your fat puss. Whoa. <laughs> and it's like, it's not fat. Like, that's the least fat part about me. Like, everything else is pretty big, but like, that's just normal size. Do you respond with that? No. Nice. <laughs> I usually don't respond. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the end of this. Yeah, we're done. Um, yeah, so if you listen to this podcast and you said, oh, baby, I like it. What extra thing can I do? You could go to iTunes and you can rate this podcast five stars. And if you rate it five stars, you can also put a comment. And if you put a comment hitting on me or saying something very salacious and sexual, I'll read it out loud. Here's an example. Uh, I don't have any good examples of what people have sent to me, so this is off the top of my head. You could say, hey, Nicole, love your podcast. I want to put my finger in your butt. You can also say, hey, Nicole, you're a nice piece of chocolate. I want to put you in my mouth. And by my mouth, I mean I want to put you right in my dick hole. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these are all terrible. So you'll think of better ones. Thank you so much for listening. And, George, thank you so much. Thank you, Nicole. Bye-bye. Bye. That was a HeadGum Podcast.